Some wounded warriors recently teamed up with the Eastern Sierra Disabled Sports Program to put a different spin on recovery. The three warriors were invited on an all-expense-paid trip to the resort town of Mammoth Lakes, California, June 4th through the 8th. The group jumped right in the first day with kayaking on Crawley Lake. With help from the Disabled Sports Program volunteers, the three strapped in tandem kayaks and ventured down the coast. Then Joshua Cope and the two other warriors headed to a pair of trout ponds where they received key fishing tips from the area's most notable fishing guides. This was 24-year-old Cope's first trip since his injury. During a routine patrol in Baghdad, Iraq, an improvised explosive device detonated near Cope. Searing hot shrapnel tore through his body, resulting in severe damage to his hands and the loss of both legs above the knee. Hand cycling led the list of events for the next morning. Robert Pratt took charge and led the group over the four-mile course. You come up here, you get outside the hospital, you know. Like, like, if you're in a hospital, you're doing physical therapy, uh, you see doctors all day long, like, you see therapists all day. You come up here, you don't see therapists, you don't see doctors everywhere, you know. It feels like it's just you and a couple good friends of yours. It's huge, you know. It, it moves people forward in their treatment. Pratt, a 24-year-old Shawnee, Oklahoma native, recently hand-cycled in New York's Rock and Roll Marathon. He was injured during his second deployment to Iraq when the Humvee he was driving rolled directly over a roadside bomb, which shattered two inches of his right tibia, broke his fibula in three different places, and sent shrapnel into his left leg, elbow, and face. His once minimal mobility has now turned into the ability to walk with the assistance of only a leg brace and a cane. As well as kayaking and hand cycling, the Wounded Warriors, which you can see behind me on this 200-foot rock base, also tried their hand at mountain climbing, proving that while they may be injured, they're certainly not out of the fight. The Warriors watched as mountain guides demonstrated the proper techniques for rock climbing. Buckling their straps, they headed up to the rock wall. The climb proved most formidable for Bryce Brokaw, the 29-year-old from Decatur, Indiana, who had just days prior strapped on a new prosthetic leg. Brokaw was involved in a motorcycle crash, which resulted in the loss of his right leg and most of the control in his hands. His new leg allows him to entertain his high expectations and goals to perform all activities. Uh, this week we did kayaking, we did uh, fishing, we did hand cycling, we did rock climbing, which is pretty freaking amazing for a man with one leg. Um, it, it's gone kind of beyond uh, more than what I thought I would be able to do. Pretty amazing. This was the second trip coordinated by the Wounded Warriors and Disabled Sports Program. Cope, Brokaw, and Pratt are still undergoing rehabilitation at the Balboa Naval Medical Center in San Diego. Reporting from Mammoth Lakes, California, I'm Lance Corporal Nick Lineman.